Hello Makeup Void, I'm Trin, the Makeup Schizophrenic, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my makeup inventory as of June 2024. I did a makeup inventory in January or late December, I can't remember. Either way, we're doing it today. I'm gonna be counting as of January. We're gonna see, I'm gonna do a specific low buy video by the numbers and how royally I effed up my low buy this year. That's not the point of this video. Numbers I am including, not including. I am not including backups in this. I have purchased quite a few backups as of late, and because I have not used up the products that, repla that they're replacing, I'm not including them in these numbers. I am also not including brow products because that is a metric clusterfuck, and I'll tint on that, but I didn't include it in my final numbers. So we're not talking about those categories. We'll touch on brows, but we're, we're not... We're just not going to talk about it, okay? I do have pictures from the majority of these categories, but as I was taking pictures, I felt very, very overwhelmed, so I sort of rage quit on it. So we'll have some pictures, we'll have some not. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how editing me gets her life together. Give this video a like or a dislike and subscribe to my channel. Goal is 500 subscribers. I'd love to have you join. Let's go ahead and get rolling. <music> So I have been tracking my makeup inventory on a Google Sheet spreadsheet and I was looking at my low buy numbers when I first did like the low buy and the inventory at this combo. I'm going to do a low buy video like for June a little bit different by the numbers and actually review my goals. So that's a separate video. Probably film tomorrow. See how it goes. As of January, I had a total of five primers, and I am down to four. I used up the Essence Hydro Hero Primer, and I have brought in four new primers and have emptied four, which keeps me at four. I have not decluttered an eye primer this year, or a face primer this year. I probably will, maybe one, maybe two, but those are the numbers so far. Foundations, um, as you'll see in my uh, numbers go away, you'll see in my low buy update how I really f this up. So foundations, as of January, I had seven. As of today, I have seven. <laughs> I have brought four new foundations into my collection and I have emptied three. So low buy numbers, it ain't mathing, but that's where I'm standing. Concealer. As of January, I had six. As of today, I have five. I have brought in five new concealers. I have emptied five and I have decluttered one. The one I did declutter was a color corrector. It was the e.l.f peach like the color corrector with the wand. I didn't wait. I jumped the gun on buying that. Um, I have a hair on my tattoo because I applied aquaphor to that. Can I show you all the tattoo? It's upside down but it's a Pikachu with a sunflower. I absolutely love it. My only regret is I did in the middle of summer and I hate wearing hoodies when it's 95 degrees outside. <laughs> so I have to keep it ready from summer. Can't put sunscreen on it for like another week or two. So I am ugh, blah, blah, blah. That's not the point. So I have emptied five. How have I emptied five? We're just not going to talk about it. Um... My goal, my low buy goal was like two in, one out, and I definitely fluffed that up, but I am like justifying like buying five. How the fluff have I bought five this year? That doesn't make sense. But I did hit pan on the potted elf color corrector, so in terms of my two in, one out, I am considering the pan as an owl even though I still have the concealer because I'm not going to use it up. It's going to go bad before I use it up, but I hit pan on it, so I'm counting it. Powders, inventory as of nine, inventory as January, I had nine. As of today, I have four. I've bought one new powder and I have emptied six. I blaze through powders. I probably use too much powder whenever I do my makeup. I probably use way too fluffing much powder, which is how I empty so much and I have not decluttered one this year. I, going into summer, I am going to work on using one up and then I have another powder that will probably just be used up no matter what. So that's, I am really close to emptying two powders. Setting mist. 
I had, in January, I had a total of two. As of June, I have one. I've bought one new, set. okay, so it's the Pixie Green Tea's Fix It setting mist. This is what I use every day. I treat it as skin prep. I actually use it today as a setting mist, so we'll see how that goes. But we'll save that review for a later time. So in June or January, I had the e.l.f the green setting mist which is phenomenal it's a great do for their Urban Decay all night setting spray and I really want that back in my collection I haven't repurchased it every time I go to Target every time I place an elf order I don't think about it so do I really need it when I really want to repurchase it so this is so I my, my empty was this this is the new one I will probably buy a backup of this in the coming weeks because I love it so much. It's just great for skin prep. Does it actually do anything? I don't really know. I just like a nice face mist in terms of my skin prep. Bronzer. In January I had a total of seven. As of today. Wait, does this count my declutter? I don't know if this counts as my declutter. Yes, it does count my declutter. So as of, so I have five. I should have five. I don't know if this counts my declutter. As of so it's, as of January, I had seven. As of the time I'm making this video, I had six. I have bought one new bronzer, which is the NYX Vital Melt Bronzer. I have emptied the Elf Contour Wand, and I have decluttered the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, which I don't know even. Oh, here it is. Um, the reason why I'm decluttering this is because it's four years old, and uh. Whew, it smells like Play-Doh. It has smelled like Play-Doh for a long time, but when I used it recently, it reeked of Play-Doh. And I got this in 2020, so I feel okay decluttering this. I don't know why I bought this in 2020, because I was barely using face makeup. I was only doing it on the weekends when I was going out for like a couple hours. So honestly, I don't have that much product left, even though this was the mini and I was considered the full size. It needs to go, y'all. It just needs to go. It is way too old. It smells so strong with play-doh it has to be expired at this point it's time to let it glow glow go blush this is where i think my numbers are totally fluffed up but we'll talk about it in my in my little buy update so according to my spreadsheet as of january i had 34 blushes as of today I have 36 blushes. I have brought five new blushes into my collection. I have emptied one and decluttered three. So I decluttered both my flower bomb blushes, the liquid blushes, because I had things in mind for the blushes and I hated the shades. I hated how it worked out. The formula was good, but I just hated the blushes. I also decluttered the Ulta Beauty like chunky stick boy and I think it was in the shade social if I spread over my if I look over on my spreadsheet I'll be able to point it out but I'm trying to I don't want to keep scrolling back and forth on my spreadsheet so I don't know what shade that was I have brought in so I will talk about more lips but I used up my mini of Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk once I emptied it as a bullet, I scraped the rest of it out and then moved it to my blush collection. So not only did I use it up as a lipstick, but I also used it up as a blush, which counts towards my empty. I have bought the Rare Beauty Blush and Happy. I bought two of the ColourPop blushes from the Pokemon collection. I... what else have I bought? What other blushes have I bought? One counts as the... One of those counts the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then let's see. Oh, I bought um, the Elf Camel Liquid Blush in the shade Pinky Promise. My brain, I, I wonder if I bought that in December and didn't get it until January. That's what I'm thinking happened. Because I filmed my low buy, or I put out into the universe my low buy goals in January and I probably didn't have pinky promise at the time of that video so my brain wasn't thinking that it counts. So those are the five blushes that I've brought in. Highlighters in January I had 12. As of today I have 12. I have bought one new highlighter which was Rare Beauty and Lighten. 
which I promptly used, promptly fell in love with, and promptly put it away and probably will never see again. I have not emptied any highlighters, but I have decluttered one. I hit pan in the ColourPop Super Shock in the shade Spellbound. That took one to use, and then I realized that I don't give a fluff about this highlighter, so I decluttered it. Brows, again, we're not talking about brows. I don't even have the numbers on here, but I think as of January, I had eight brow products. Today, I have two. I should probably just adjust my numbers. But my two brow products are, I finally found a brow gel that I like, Final Fluffing Lee. It's the Elf Brow Laminating Gel. I love this brow gel. I have only used, I've had it for maybe a week. But I've used it every single day since. I absolutely love it. And because I'm a cheapskate, I use the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil. And this is in the shade Neutral Brown. So that's my brow combo. It'll probably be my brow combo for the foreseeable future. So I... The thing is with brows is that because I've changed my hair color so frequently over the past year, I've gone from having to buy like several different brow pencils to match my hair to just saying screw it and using eyeshadows for brows. I have gone back and forth between using brow gels consistently. I have gone back and forth between not using them at all. So that's why like I'm talking about brows. But they're kind of a clusterfuck I don't I didn't put numbers of how many I've purchased or how many I used up because I really haven't used the brow products this year I've just decluttered brow gels that have been increasingly old and don't know why I included them in my January inventory in the first place face palettes January we had five as of today we have five I decluttered the Odin's Eye highlighter palette I and then I so, the Elfberry Hot Drop Palette. I originally had this in my eyeshadow palette category because it do, does have four eyeshadows. I imagined myself just using this as eyeshadow and then just ignoring the blushes. But what ended up happening was that I used the blushes all the fluffing time and it's in a project pan again. And I used up the center eyeshadow right here as setting my under eyes. So I put this in my face palette category. So that's how, so this is like, Want new sort of because it's new to this category eye primer in january i have three as of today i have two i emptied the milani eyeshadow primer i have not bought any new primers i have not decluttered any new eyeshadow primers so as of today i have the ulta matte eye primer uses every single day I'm gonna repurchase it once it gets closer to being empty which is we're kind of getting that and then i should probably declutter this which is the nyx glitter primer because i just don't use it anymore my makeup application has changed a lot to where i would much rather use a tacky eyeshadow crayon or eyeshadow stick as a base like I do eye primer every single day but I'd rather use like a tinted liquid eyeshadow or a tinted brow brown pencil eyeshadow crayon pencil as a base to where I don't have really a need for this glitter primer in my collection I have have I used it all this year let's look I've used it twice so that can honestly just be decluttered I don't have, I didn't do the numbers for mascara. Well, F. <clears throat> I didn't do it and I'm not going to do it now. So as of January, let's see. I, overall this year, I have used up four mascaras. I have bought fluff. I've used the four mascaras this year. I have bought four and I have emptied four. So the Tower 28 mascara is one that I've bought this year and I emptied it after three months. That could have lasted a month because that mascara sucks. I don't care what anybody says. The Tower 28 mascara, everyone was hyped about it. I bought a mini because I was curious in January. That mascara sucks. So <laughs> don't listen to everybody you hear on the internet. Maybe you shouldn't even listen to me. But in my personal opinion, the Tower 28 mascara sucks, but like it's so bad. <laughs> uh, so I don't have the official numbers on mascara. I'm gonna regret that at the end of the year. Let's talk eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes, I fluffed up. I did 
it did, it did, it don't care. So as of January, I had 83 eyeshadow palettes. That is far too many eyeshadow palettes. As of today, I have 92. And we'll review in my low buy goals, but my goal is to keep it under 90. But I need to do a ruthless declutter. My eyeshadow palette collection video, I've been meaning to do literally all year, but the thought of doing that is so overwhelming to me that I just can't convince myself to do it. But when that case happens, we're decluttering like 50% of my palettes. Like that is going to happen for sure. So I have brought in nine eyeshadow palettes. I haven't emptied any of them and I've decluttered three. I have officially Declutter the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette, the ColourPop Fresh Greens palette I gave to a co-worker, and then I moved the Domini Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette to kind of like the makeup me memory box. So that's what happens to those. I need to do a ruthless eyeshadow declutter, like seriously. And my low, I will reference my low buy. My goal was one eyeshadow palette a month, and then I brought in an eyeshadow palette into my Decor Painting Project pan, and my goal was to hit pan, and I've for since then I've told myself if I hit pan I should have it I can justify buying another one so that's how the numbers gone absurd fight me but it's also helped me be very selective about which I should have I bring into my collection and not just buying like a brand's first brand new eyeshadow palette and rather in trying new brands looking at their entire library picking out the eyeshadow palette that speaks to me the most so I've really enjoyed that about my low buy, not just buying the new, new, new palettes because I think I can keep up with creators that get their palettes in PR. I have not gotten a single lick of PR. That's not going to happen for a long time, if at all, which I honestly am grateful for. As, as much as I'd love to be on the Fancy Cosmetica PR list, as much as I'd love to be on the Adepts PR list, uh, the amount of eyeshadow palettes that I would get once I hit a PR level, if I even do, just the thought of it overwhelms the living crap out of me. Let's talk liquid eyeshadow. As of January, I had six. As of today, I have ten. I have brought in four. I have not emptied a single one, and I have not decluttered a single one. All of my liquid eyeshadows are from About Face. I will buy more liquid eyeshadows this year. I am keeping an eye out for their next sale at Ulta when... When they go on sale at Ulta again, I'm going to pick up two or three more. I don't care. I'm just going to do it. Eyeshadow singles. This got, whew, this got out of control. As of January, I have 16. As of today, I have 30, which means I've run 14 new eyeshadows. I have not emptied a single eyeshadow, and I have decluttered six of them. Those six were ColourPop Super Shocks that were so embarrassingly old that they, I could probably get some more use out of them, but they were just so old that the quality of them went so far down, so I didn't. The reason why my eyeshadow singles have grown exponentially is do I even have this on my vanity even more anymore? I don't think I do. But and this goes against my no buy. <laughs> low buy. <laughs> goes against my low buy. So I purchased eight Cleona singles off of Mercari, which half of them look the exact same. I was not paying attention to shades. I have barely touched my Cleona singles because the ones I've used, I have been like, I don't get the hype. And then included in that, which I didn't expect, I don't know if it was a freebie or if it just, I wasn't paying attention to what I was purchasing, but I also did get a single from Give Me Glow, which is called like Electric Unicorn or something. And oh my gosh, I need to bring that back out. Whew. That's a good single from Give Me Glow. That was phenomenal. So that's why I brought in so many singles. I have also bought some ColourPop Super Shocks. I've bought in, brought in a couple from Half Magic. So that's why this category got out of control and I don't care. That's the problem when my eyeshadows like go out of control. Like I just don't care. Like certain categories I'm like, I need to narrow this down. Other categories like, I'll give a single fluff if it explodes. I'm happy with it. Eyeliners. As of January, I had 30. As of today, I have 28, and two are on their way out. So I have brought in only three new eyeliners. I have brought in About Face Pearly. I have brought in Il Maquillage, which was 
felt tip eyeliner, which was a gift from my mother-in-law. And then I bought brought in the About Face Line Artist Line Gel Lip Eyeliner in the shade Into the Void. So those are the three eyeliners I've purchased. I have emptied four, which were the black Epic Wear Eyeliner from NYX, the brown Epic Eyeliner from NYX, the Seven Seas Eyeliner from Kaleidos, and another one that I can't think of on the top of my head. I decluttered one, and I don't know which one I decluttered. So, there's where my eyeliners are at. Also in this category, I do include all of my eyeshadow crayons, because I can use them as eyeliners, and even though I primarily use them as bases, they're still in this category. Maybe I need to break them up. Maybe I should. Lippies. So, in January, I had all my lip products in one category, besides lip liner. So, like, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip oils, lip stains, they were all one category. So, as of January, I had 27 total. I have to sneak. January, I had 27 lippies. As of June, because I split up the categories, I have a total of 14. I have brought in four new lip products. I have emptied one, which was Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and I've decluttered none. And that's another category that I need to fluff and declutter some shit out because it's old and I'm not using them. So, like I mentioned, uh, lip glosses and oils got separated into their own category. So, as of June, I have total of 23. This got out of control. I have brought in eight new lip glosses. Three of them were for the Pokemon collection. I regret buying them because they all look the fluffing same. I have emptied one, which was Milani Champagne. That gloss, I definitely repurchased in the foreseeable future. And I've decluttered zero. Again, this is a category I need to fluff and declutter shit out of. Which brings me to 37 lippies total overall. Lip liners. As of January, I had 12. As of today, I have 13. I have only brought in one new lip liner which is from e.l.f. their cream gel lip liner in the shade let me just pop over uh it's the shade pinky swear so this is my only new lip liner again there are two lip liners on the top of my head that i can declutter so and i'm gonna do this declutter off camera i don't feel like filming it i know people eat declutters off i'd rather do it off camera so there's two i think on top of my head that i can declutter Lip prep, as of January, I have three. As of today, I have four. I have brought in three new lip prep products, but I have empty two and decluttered zero, and this is a category I'm not gonna declutter. I am happy with all four. I think I have a picture of that, so I'm not gonna share everything that I've purchased for lip prep. I can reach over and do it. I don't care. So, let's see here. So I have emptied out, let me let me scroll over, I emptied the Elfberry Hot Drop Mask, I emptied that in April. I've had the Elf Clear Lip Oil, that's the only one that I've had since, since last year, which is looking hella gross, but I only, I have three other of the lip oils that I use actually as lip applications and like my lip glosses slash oil category. There's so much hair on my tattoo and it is irritating the fluff out of me. And that peely part just completely came off. Okay. So lip oil came over from last year. My most recent lip prep product was the ColourPop Pokeball one. It's fine. It's fine. It's my least favorite out of what I have. I have the I used up the original Lawless Forget the Filler lip mask. I purchased the cinnamon sugar one, which is too cinnamony for my liking. So I don't know why I bought it. I'm not the biggest fan of cinnamon. But I love this formula, so that's why I bought it. And then my favorite lip prep is the Broke My Cruelty Free Stands for this. I regret nothing. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Cotton Candy. I love cotton candy everything if something is called cotton candy my grubby little hands are like i have to purchase this so <laughs> i regret nothing that is my favorite lip prep product is the laneige and because it's cotton candy also it's just a really freaking good formula it is why do we keep looking over there there's no cats it's such a good freaking formula like i get the hype of the laneige it doesn't make me want to buy any more sense of it maybe like a mini bundle but like I'm so happy with cotton candy it's so good 
So I'm just going to touch on sunscreens. I have two at the beginning of this year. I only had one. But the one that I've repurchased three times now and will be repurchased throughout the rest of forever probably until my skin type changes. If it changes at all, I have no idea. People say that their skin like changes over time. I haven't really had that. But the Bliss Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. It is a mineral sunscreen. I fluffing love this because it has just a smidge of tint, but also it's mattifying. It's a mattifying sunscreen. I absolutely love that. I could care less about glowy sunscreens. I don't care. I want something that's matte. So I purchased this three times this year, and then I bought the Hero sunscreen, which is what I'm using today, the Force Field Super Light Spectrum SPF 30 daily UV defense. I don't know if this is a mineral or it's a mineral SPF. I don't like this sunscreen. I only use it on days where I don't need my makeup to be long lasting. And then a category that's not including my makeup inventory total, but I'm including them in this video because I have them. It is, I have two lip balms that I count towards like my desk. So when I'm just hanging out at my computer desk, don't want to touch up my lipstick, but I need a little bit of moisture, need a little bit of hydration. I have the Lawless Lip Balm Chunky Boy and the scent Marshmallow. It doesn't have a marshmallow scent, but that's why I bought it. It's just a, it's just a freaking lip balm, man. It's just a clear lip balm. That's all it is, but it gets the job done. And then the ColourPop PG PH Lip Balm. I moved it to my desk category because I'm not bringing that to work. I don't, it's just staying on my computer desk. That's what I'm going to do. So I have two in that category that is new. And let's talk totals. So... Beginning of this year, in January, I had 278 lip products, or makeup products in general. I had 278 products throughout my entire fluffing collection. As of today, I have 298 products. That's absurd. That's so absurd. But it's what I got. So that's where we're at. And I will point out from my low buy goal was to keep my makeup collection under 300 products and I will do a savage declutter off camera so we can bring that number down. So that. Um, I think if we include brows in this, I think if we include my two brow products, I'm not including sunscreens or my lip desk lippies as part of this I just want to mention them because I have them but I'm not including those in my like overall makeup collection so but if we include the two brow products that I just literally talked about then we're up to 300 products total which is absurd yeah but <laughs> that's it that's my long ass makeup inventory video for June if the numbers are wrong, the numbers are wrong. It is what it is. But I want to thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Again, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your inventory is looking like as, the, as we approach the end later half of this year. I'd love to hear from you. As always, have joy and bye! <laughs>